Okay, redox equation. All right, first what we'll do is we'll write out the half reactions. Cr207 to minus gives CRO. We concentrate on the atoms that are actually undergoing a change in charge and that's going to be the chromium and the chlorine. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and balance the elements that are being oxidized or reduced and that's going to be the chromium and we've got two chromiums here so we need to put a two in front of here here we've got one chlorine one chlorine so that's okay the next thing we do is we balance the oxygens here we've got seven oxygens on this side here we've got two oxygens on this side so we'll balance the oxygens by adding five H2O to this side now we've got seven oxygens on each side in this one we've got one oxygen and three oxygens sorry four oxygens so we're going to have to add three H2O to this side now for this reaction, the next thing we're going to do is balance the hydrogens. We've got 10 hydrogens on this side, so I'll add 10 H plus to this side. And for this one, we've got 6 hydrogens over here, so I'll add 6 H plus to this side. So now we've balanced the oxygens and the hydrogens. The next thing we need to do is balance the electrons. Here the total charge is 10 minus 2, which is 8, and over here the charge is 0. So what I'm going to do is add eight electrons to this side. We always add enough, we take the difference in the charges, which is eight, and we add electrons to the side that have the higher charge. So this has a charge of eight, this has a charge of zero, so I add eight electrons to that side. Now for this one, I've got a charge of negative one here on this side, and a charge of negative one plus six, which is five. So uh, we've got negative one going to five, the difference between these is actually going to be 6, that's 5 minus negative 1, which is 6. And we're going to add 6 electrons to the, higher, to, to the side of the higher charge, and that's going to be this one. So now we've got uh, 6 electrons, 6H plus here, negative and negative, and that's balanced out. The other way you can look at this is if you've got a negative here and a negative here, and you have 6H plus, these kind of cancel out, and you need 6 electrons to balance out the 6H plus. So that would, uh, that would balance it as well. The next thing we've got to do is multiply the reactions to make the electrons equal. And here we've got eight electrons on this side and six on this side. So the way that I can get the lowest possible numbers of electrons is going to be to have uh, this multiplied by three and to multiply this one by four. So our common number of electrons here is going to be 24. So what I'm going to do is multiply all of these out. You'll see that the electrons will cancel. That'll give me 24 electrons here. Uh, that'll give me 30H plus here. That'll give me uh, 3 Cr2072 minus. That'll give me 6 CROs here. And it'll give me 15 waters up here. Now this one will be left with 12 waters down here. 4 of these, 4 of these, 24 of these, and 24 electrons. As you can see, the 24 electrons are going to cancel. Don't have to worry about that now. Next, I'll look at the H pluses. I've got 30 H plus on this side, 24 on this side, so I'll get 6 H plus over here. The uh, waters, we've got 12 waters over here and 15 over here. That's going to leave me with 3 waters on this side. This one here, I've still got 3 Cr2072 minus and 4 ClO negatives. And over here we're going to have six CROs and four ClO4 negatives. All right, so that's going to be balance for acid. The next thing we're going to do is balance this for base. And the way we'll do that is I will go ahead and copy this so I don't have to cross out my answer here. All right, so it's just the same answer as we had for the bouncing in the acid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add enough OH minuses to cancel out the H pluses. So what's going to happen is that's going to add together, and that's going to give me 6H2O. And 6H2O is going to cancel with 3H2O over here to be left with 3H2O. So my final answer for the base will be 3H2O 
plus 3, Cr207 to minus, plus 4, ClO negative, gives 6, CrO plus 4, ClO4 four minus, plus 6, OH negative. And that's going to be now balanced for basic conditions. And what I'm going to do now is just go through and check everything and make sure it is indeed balanced. On this side I've got six hydrogens. On this side I've got three times two is six hydrogens. Over here I've got three times seven is 21 oxygens plus four is 25 oxygens. Here would be three oxygens plus six oxygens is nine plus 16 is 25 oxygens. We have six chromiums, six chromiums. We have four CLs and four CLs. So that's all balanced. Let's look at the charges. We've got 6 plus, minus 6, minus 4. That's a negative 4 on that side. 0, minus 4, negative 4 on that side. So everything balances out here. Looking at the basic side, we've got a total charge here of negative 6, minus 1 is negative 7. Here we've got, uh, sorry, negative 6 minus 4 is minus 10. Here we've got minus 4, minus 6 is minus 10. Oxygens, so we've got 3 oxygens here. We've got uh, 21 here, and uh, 5 is 20, uh, tw sorry, uh, 4 is uh, 25. 25 plus 3 is 28. Over here we've got 6, and 16 is 22, plus 6 is 28 oxygens. The, uh, the chromiums, we've got 6 here and 6 here. We've got 4 CLs and 4 CLs, and hydrogens, we've got... 3 times 2 is 6, and, three and uh, 6 times 1 is 6. So now we've got everything balanced over here as well.